guys, Natasha with Natasha Scrabble Corner and today I'm coming to you with a uh, um, small uh, gift presentation uh, when you are sending something, um, just a little gesture uh, to someone, um, you know, say happy birthday or hi, uh, the presentation I think is the key because um, you're not really including a lot of goodies but um, you want it to be very very special so um, what you can do um, to make this uh, gift very special uh, so of course you uh, make a card is that either it's gonna be a greeting card or um, you know um, get well card happy birthday card uh, whichever the occasion is and uh, very um, well, um, I mean, you can go with a regular A2 format of the card um, using your favorite card stock, whatever you have. But uh, more elaborate cards are uh, the bow shape cards, um, and uh, you can search it on the um, internet. Uh, someone is selling uh, the template for the bow card. But it's very dimensional and hard to ship uh, but um, easel cards are the way to go an easel card is usually six by six card that the, uh, you can either purchase um, this um, you know format at any craft store or you can make it own so regular folded six by six and it usually comes uh, with an envelope if you're purchasing uh, that um, at the craft store um, so the fold is normal but the upper the upper part is scored and scored about the halfway and uh, um, I'm not doing a tutorial here on how to um, you know make an easel card but basically easel card is very um, uh, dimensional it can be and it is basically flat when you ship in it so <clears throat> uh, you're gonna need to um, probably cut out um, three three six by six card stocks or we'll use six by six um, notepad that's gonna be fitting perfectly so you need to decorate your card um, inside so here is your one sheet six by six there is another one and on uh, the um, above part you are gonna adhere your six by six sheet only on that front half in order to it to stand up you need to create some sort of three-dimensional stopper it can be sticker uh, 3d sticker it can be lace or ribbon it can be uh, just pearlized uh, beads whichever flower arrangement whatever you can come up with so and then when other person um, receives it um, they can uh, stand it up as is and uh, from there you take your imagination and just uh, decorate uh, the uh, top with whatever theme is going so I'm using uh, the um, ATC cards um, the um, cards that comes with the um, you know paper collection um, using some uh, die cut it um, embellishments uh, my style is kind of vintage, so I added uh, some doilies, crochet doilies, um, and crochet flowers, and uh, um, floral sprays or beaded sprays are always nice dimension, ribbons, um, tool bows, um, and whatever, uh, whatever flowers um, you can add on the card or bling embellishment that all goes well and uh, you can write your message inside the card in this case um, I'm using the pre-printed um, the uh, checklist for a person they can check it you know happy 
um, you know, blessed, uh, you know, hopeful, and um, I added uh, the note on the back, and I'm using repositional um, adhesive in here, so the person can reuse it. I really like the idea of reusing the cards. Uh, so if she uh, enjoyed the card or uh, he, she recipient enjoyed the card and um, if they can switch that note out and um, share it with the next person, so that's great. So um, so that's the, uh, the card itself. Um, again, uh, going with the theme, it's always nice to send like a little crafty goodies. So I included some uh, flowers that I used in here uh, and um, some extra doilies. And what I did, I just secured, a, I fitted those flowers through and that's going to be a very nice bouquet right here so the person can use them uh, further. Maybe they want to... Uh, expand uh, with this project uh, that would be a good uh, theme to have kind of related um, items and uh, envelope because of course you cannot fit your not flat card in the envelope especially when um, the sides is sticking you see it makes it more dimensional so but I don't want to throw out the envelope and uh, you can make it in art um, envelope uh, and there are a uh, lots of tutorials on how to do the those um, so it's called mail art you can decorate that but in this case I decided to let it plain because I already had a gift um, and as a topper, I'll say, um, as a topper, I used another doily and I am trying, if there is a way not to glue it, I always try that. So I fit it through the ribbon and tied it in a bow and added another ribbon on top to make it fuller. I love full um, bows, full embellishments. And in this particular case, I am sending out uh, a card of twinches. And the twinches are adhered on the uh, smaller piece of cardstock, which was distressed and everything according to the theme. And the twinch um, is, um, I will pop the link below to the video uh, of explaining the twinches, but basically twinch is, is a decorative piece of it could be paper it could be lace it could be anything um, two inch by two inch it's the same as inches uh, so it's a, a small piece of art that is two by two inches and in this case I made it uh, vintage so and it was for the challenge okay so and on the back of course it was a uh, single-sided paper so I took advantage of that and added some appliques and stuff like that because I know this person uh, works with uh, such items and it uh, fits absolutely perfect in this envelope. there you go some odd uh, ideas for you always make it special bye